Hello and welcome to part 10. I think we're finally into the double digits of making these episodes. Just got that ridiculously sized bar key. I mean, what door would use a key that big? And I'm going to have a quick ganders about here, have a look around and see what's going on in here. Uh, just saw apparently dirty money, but it looks very clean to me, so don't know what he's got on himself. Uh, so there's dead bodies everywhere. I I've completely forgotten really how I killed these lot. Uh, I've been doing a few other videos. I was going to be starting a Red Faction 2 Let's Play today, but I then went to play it, thought I'd try it out a little bit before I, uh, so I can get the levels and stuff right, and I just couldn't play it anymore. It's just the way the game is nowadays, just it didn't translate well. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now nah, they're gonna do it. Mm, mm. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mmm, mmm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Well. Pull your trousers up, man. Come on. Jesus Christ, he's got like some. Must have some Uber style body armor on his stomach. Fucking die. Jesus Christ, I know you're a hooker and all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, what the fuck happened there? Well, you can tell I haven't played this for a while. And uh, let's just. Must, come on. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright then. Well, at least I'm not that far behind. I'm gonna probably quick save outside that room. This time. I'm just going to throw a grenade clean in there. Save it here. I'm going to skip this because we've already seen that Too girl sucking him clean off, so... Throw a grenade in there. Right then. Not getting killed by that shotgun again. Die. 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 Oh. Well, I guess if you want to finish him off like that, Max, you welcome to. Oh my god, come on, love. Fucking hell, I know you've got tits and all, but I'm sure they don't soak up bullets that well. Let's put some bloody painkillers on. Dirty magazines. So it's in the Nothing going on there. Let's get a beer. Beretta ammo. Painkiller. Desert Eagle ammo. Let's bring out these. I've got a feeling I can't kill him until a certain point. Oh, oh no, I can. Oh god, oh god, oh god. If you don't dive at them, like I've been told. It works a lot better diving at them. I can, I can see that now. <clears throat> Most definitely because of the hell full oh, shit I didn't realise um, when I started recording. The antique switchboard was still in use. So I think I'm going to need to at one point just have a guess. Um, let's just do this. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. 
the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, Cornelius, this makes pain. was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Oh yeah. More badassery as it goes. So I got the Ingram now, have I? Yeah, I got the Ingram. 25 bullets. Oh wow. How how poor is that? Uh, let's just give myself a drink. Why not? I need I need to stop that. I've got I had an, I've got an addiction to these things. I need to stop it. Guess it doesn't work. I remember that bit. I'm sure I remember this. But you go up top. And you you got to um, drop in through the glass, and then shitloads of people come out. Well, I'll get to the point where I drop in through the top. And then I'm going to finish this one off after I've killed the guys that come through. Dobin, Dobin. Oh, come on. Surely I can win. I want I want to get some money, you know. It's rigged. It's rigged. This is not fair. It's rigged. Stupid machine. Anyway. No, no. Haha, <laughs> they're assuming the penis. See, that machine's rigged as well, you twats. They're all rigged. We can never win. The house always wins. Wouldn't surprise me if there was a button somewhere which would make it go somewhere. Like a magnet on it. If only I could see where the ball was, I might have seen if I'd win or not. Blackjack. You know what? The house always wins. I'm leaving. I don't want to lose my money. But, um. Die! Whoa! Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah, that was, that was pretty sweet then. Alright then. Let's reload these bullets. Oh. Oh, I didn't realise I'd pulled them out. I wanted these. Actually, I think the, um, I think this is... No, I'll get to the next area. And then I'm going to finish it. Because I do not want... Oh, come on. Oh wow, where the fuck do I go then? Because that's back the way I fucking came. There's a dead guy with his trousers down there. It's obviously not there. One minute. Let's have a look. Press this button again. Ah. There we go. Chapter 5, let the gun do the talking. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. 
I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. Shotgun! The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Well. Oh, well, he's obviously Russian. He's got vodka as his bloody um, registration. You shouldn't be driving that fast in the snow. You're going to go crash. Oh, would you look at that? Ooh. I thought that was done or in. Jesus Christ. Well. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Right then, well, I'm going to finish it here. I'm probably going to do the next one as well, because... Well, I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying this at the minute, so... And I've got plenty of time to do more vids, so I'm going to finish this one up, and I'm going to start off on part, part 11. So I'll see you then.